Mike, good week in Portugal? Yeah, been uh, I think very successful. I think um, we've uh, filled these guys with a hell of a lot of information over the, the first three days, but um, you know they've responded well to it. There are a few new things that they've uh, we've introduced in the way we want to play and how we want to play, and um, I think um, you know we're 80, 90 percent there. So um, it's now game week, and um, you know it's it's massively exciting going forward. Great opportunity for you as well to get to know the players. Yeah, it is all about the relationship that you have with the players, and um, you know Faz has put us into many groups, and you and you get to know know players that way. We've also had a bit of fun. Uh, we saw this morning with a bit of golf, and uh, you know it's a good crack at the moment. Yeah, it's been interesting to see the, the as you said, you mentioned the golf this morning, a uh, good bit of fun there. But then the hard work is going on behind you there in the gym. Yeah, well, that's your your bread and butter of the game, really. You know, it's vital that uh, these guys are massively confident in what they do, and and by getting in the gym and getting a good balance between skill and the physical side of it. And then as we build up into the game, the uh, the mental becomes uh, obviously very, very important too. A number of the players have talked about uh, sort of the different structure to the week uh, that Andy and the coaches have brought and, and uh, you know the layout of, of the training days as well. Yeah, I mean, we'll see if it's successful with uh, with the result on Saturday. But um, you know, ultimately, it's, it's, we, we feel it's the right balance. It gives us coaches enough time and the players enough time to, to communicate on a, on, a, on a regular basis and uh, build those relationships that are crucial um, to be a successful side. We've seen uh, obviously five uncapped players and, and the four development guys in the squad as well. How have they got on this week? Very, very well. I've been massively impressed by, by firstly their skill level, but also their ability to adapt to, to certain things. Um, Ryan Bird, you know, Harry Byrne, these guys, Rob Balakun, you know, they've come in and they've, you know, they haven't just sat back. They've, they've put their hands up and they've, they've um, drove, drove the team forward. So. For me, it's been brilliant. They've they've experienced a little bit of it, and, and hopefully they'll be chomping at the bit to to make sure they get back and, and be part of this team. You have a huge amount of experience in the Six Nations, but it's always exciting, isn't it? First game. Oh, it's one of the best competitions in the world, to be honest. I I, I love the fact that you know there's a huge buzz about it, and and, and especially after a World Cup, I think it's uh, it's crucial. You know, Ireland and Scotland, you know, um, they need to get themselves back on the on the right track, and um, there's no better place to do it than at home at the Aviva Stadium. Great memories for you of playing in Dublin? Yeah, I mean, it's one of the best atmospheres um, you know, that rugby can offer. I think, uh, you know, the whole city comes alive. Um, the support, um, the crack that everybody has and, and, and all the supporters love coming. So there's a hell of a buzz that whole weekend. So it's got my first time, obviously, um, with, the, with, with, uh, with the island team. So, um, you know, the support's been huge in the past and, and we don't expect anything less. Mike, thanks very much. Thank you.